Hi guys! So today I just wanted to share my recent experience with a new symptom that popped up randomly for me. This was about two weeks ago and uh, I'm gonna share this experience to explain the process of how I react to symptoms in order to try and not make them persist. So in order to try and stop symptoms in their track and not let them get worse and worse through reactions of fear or disappointment or whatever. So the context behind this is that uh, I have gone through a rather stressful time, had to take a lot of decisions, couldn't decide. Anyway, life got in the way a little bit, so i just gone through a stressful time, let's say, an emotionally disturbing time, and that's fertile ground for TMS, mind-body syndrome, as some of you know. And uh, one day, as I was walking up the stairs, I was going to the kitchen to make tea, I started to feel suddenly a sudden pain in my lower back here, almost the tailbone, that radiated a little bit into the upper thigh, just a little bit, but the pain in the tailbone was very strong. It was like sudden, whoop. And uh, I remember, because I have such extensive experience with all sorts of mind-body symptoms, especially painful symptoms, I just kept going up the stairs as naturally as I could, I went to the kettle, I started to make tea, and I noticed that as I was moving and putting my weight onto my right foot, I was getting this sharp pain. It was quite sharp, you know, I mean, if you, if you don't know what it is, if it was someone else who didn't know about mind-body syndrome, um, it would have been scary. Um, but I already immediately made the connection between the symptom and my the emotional toll that the stressors had taken on me because of several reasons. And one of them was because I wasn't doing anything that could injure my body um, when I started to feel this pain. And even beforehand, I hadn't done any activity that was in any way dangerous or strenuous for me. Um, I, I, I wasn't injured, so I was sure in that case that I was not injured. And I also thought back to what had happened and realized, wow, yeah, um, that, that, was, yeah that was quite heavy, so it makes sense that my body is acting up now. And uh, all of this went through my head as I was making tea, and uh, I noticed myself putting more weight on the left leg rather than on the right to try and prevent the worst of it. Um, but as I noticed myself do this, I tried to gently put more weight on the right leg again, and I still did feel that sharp pain, but I, I know now how to gradually challenge myself so I wouldn't avoid the pain completely. And the reason is that if we immediately back off from mind-body TMS pain, if we immediately say like, oh my God, this is, you know, this is, this could be serious. I'm just going to avoid having this pain. Um, what we're saying is, that there is a problem and that's how we start feeding the symptom and that's how we start feeding the fear and it's the fear then that can make the symptom worsen or even persist long term. So because I didn't want this and uh, I had some knowledge, I was gently, already gently challenging my pain a little bit by trying to put my weight equally on both legs and at the same time, noticing the pain and trying to be quite indifferent to it. And uh, as I look back, one of the most, uh, well, I mean, one of the things that I'm most proud of is that as soon as I felt the pain, like my face didn't change at all, like my reactions didn't change at all. I was like, hmm, you know, it was like so obvious to me and, uh, you know, so predictable to me that I, I just wasn't like that bothered, even though the pain itself was quite, you know, painful. I didn't want it still. And so eventually I made my tea. Um, I had already decided that day to take things a little bit easy um, because I knew what I had just been through. So I went onto the couch and I started to read 
a book. I, I was still planning to, to read this book on the couch before I felt the pain. So um, this is another thing that you can do if you get a new symptom and you suspect strongly that it's a mind-body symptom, you can just go on with whatever you're doing as much as possible. Because if you're interrupting your day, your routine, because of the pain that came up, you are immediately giving a lot of weight to the pain and telling your brain that this is a problem to be feared, okay, and to be avoided. So, so yes, I went, I started my reading, I was conscious of the way I was sitting, and I tried to sit in as natural a manner as possible. So I was moving my legs here and there, making sure that I was not too careful with my hips, making sure that if I wanted to twist in a way, I would, if, if I wanted to twist my legs in another way as I was sitting, I, I, I was twisting them gently. And that's because I wanted to move and be as natural as possible, because that's the best way to send the signal to your brain that there is nothing wrong, there is nothing enormous to, to worry about, okay? So that's the attitude, an attitude of indifference, of trying to, to, to stay natural, of trying to keep doing whatever you're doing, because as soon as you interrupt your day or back off from pain, you're giving it more weight, okay? And uh, yes, by the end of that afternoon, so after a couple of hours, that sharp pain was gone. I was left with some um, some tightness down here, um, which took longer to resolve, but that pain was gone. And I wanted to share this with you because I know that there are many people out there who have been dealing with TMS long term, but who, as they have been working on their old symptoms, they might have noticed new pains and symptoms pop up. And these symptoms can be scary. They're known as the symptom imperative, okay, like a substitution. And they usually come up when the old symptom is not working as well, or when there is an added stressor in your life that, you know, kind of um, requires a new symptom somehow to alert you. So, um, and uh, yeah, new symptoms can be scary, but if we really rationalize, and have a good look at the likelihood of this being something medically related and TMS. I mean, usually we're able to figure it out by the way the symptom manifests. And of course, as I always say, in case of doubt, always consult a medical professional. But let's say in my example, if the pain hadn't gone away or had worsened despite my my reaction despite my calmness i would have gone to the doctor of course because you know who knows maybe there would have been something else but i was like let me try this first let me try the usual approach that always works for me and that's not to feel upset disappointment and scared at the symptoms and to go on like it was no problem at all and uh, this is how i usually manage to get rid of new symptoms popping up also, old symptoms, by the way, require the same attitude, but I know it can be a little bit harder because old symptoms are a little bit more ingrained. So you might need to keep on practicing uh, this for a little bit longer with older symptoms. But yes, this is what I mean by mindset shift, by attitude work for mind-body pain. It's to adopt the right attitude so you don't give your symptoms any unnecessary wait and you don't send the message to your brain that there's a huge problem because once you do send that message fear may take over overwhelm may take over self-pity may take over and then it's going to be much harder to get out of all of this so the earlier the response the better okay that's all for today just thought i'd share this experience with you and i wish you all the best Bye bye